hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are diving into a digital dilemma which is gonna be the better choice for you is it dropbox or onedrive both are powerhouses for cloud storage and collaboration but they have unique features that make them stand out whether you're a student professional or creative just stick around as we break down what each platform offers and help you pick the perfect fit for your needs so let's begin with dropbox basically it's a cloud storage service that allow users to save files online and sync them across devices it offers tools for file sharing collaboration and backup with a dropbox you can do a lot more like store files access anywhere share and collaborate if you're beginning to take a look on the platform all right so these are going to be the tools you need in one plan now for professionals they offer a 16 dollars 58 per month you can try it for free obviously or buy now the best value is going to be the business that's 15 dollars per user per month and you have all these perks and benefits waiting for you to try and utilize the uh business plus is going to be 24 dollars per user per month but i highly suggest you might want to opt for the uh free option for now so you can test what to engage if a dropbox is going to be the better fit for your needs all i have to do is click this button right here on the upper right corner to get started all will happen is you would be forwarded here you can sign up for free obviously or you can find your plan in the uh free button don't worry because no credit card required if you click that now obviously you can use your google account or apple or you can use your business or personal email and just click on continue if you do that you would receive a notification email from dropbox that your account creation was successful and from here all i have to do is just log into your account and then you can be familiar with the platform itself now you see Dropbox offers an easy sharing files or folders with others and work with them and collaborate lively in real time. It's, this is very helpful if you're working with multiple freelancers or you're sending files within your client or your boss. You see, if you need more space, unlock an extra 50 gigabyte of storage for only $1.99 per month. But of course, we're just, you know, trying to uh, gauge the uh, platform itself to see how we can leverage this you would notice that there are tabs on the left side all files photos shared signatures if you ask them all right it's very easy file requests especially if this is going to be a recurring um theme deleted files so you can like uh recover if you want it now on the uh, top corner you see there is an option for the invite members now from here all they're gonna do is invite your team to dropbox business all right especially if you're working with uh, th uh team members in our case since in the uh, deep labs production we are working with other individuals multi-talented individuals who work at the back end for the graphics researching and of course video production so dropbox is one of the platform that we are using and it's very helpful for us to scan schedule because it's available and free obviously and paid plans with the latter offering more storage space and advanced features such as offline access larger file uploads and collaboration tools for teams now you see you can filter the dates if you want to send to see uh, the uh other options here now this is going to be a dropbox and you have also an access to the dash we have a separate video on how to utilize and use our uh, dropbox dash right but it, that's going to be for another uh, day but now let's head over again to the dropbox you see you can go to the folders if you wanted if you have segmented all of the folders you can also scan the qr code to get the free dropbox app you can back up your photos and videos scan talks from your photo tablet you just have to open your wi-fi or your internet uh, mobile data so they will sync without automatically across linked devices ensuring that you always have the latest version for that all right skip for now you see you have the uh option to download the dropbox on your desktop if you wanted that like an offline kind of um application you also have the notifications and again 
Dropbox is very easy, intuitive, and has a drag and drop functionality easier for you. Now, let's go back to our next contender, which is OneDrive is a cloud storage service from Microsoft that allows you to store access and share files online. It is tightly integrated with Microsoft's ecosystem, including Windows, Microsoft Office, and other Microsoft 365 apps. You see, in this section, you can choose to look at the uh, features, all right? Can access anywhere, easy file sharing, seamless collaboration, if, especially if you're working with Windows and Microsoft Office and other apps in between. Backup and help protect. In terms of the plans and pricing, you see, you can create a free account so you can test waters. You were, you're going to be given a 5 gigabyte of cloud storage, free versions of Word, excellent PowerPoint. But if you want to scale up, you might want to choose the Microsoft 365 Basic, which has all of these new security features only for $19.99 per month and one year. You have all these at your disposal. If you wanted to go for the Microsoft 365 Personal, you might want to click the uh, $69.99. The last is going to be the Microsoft 365 family, which is like $100 per month. And you can have all of these perks and advantages. But I highly suggest you go for the free trial for now so you can test what else engage if this is going to be a better fit than Dropbox, right? After doing so, you see there is an option here to sign up for OneDrive Cloud Storage. Click that. Once you have successfully created your account, in OneDrive, you would have a similar welcome email such as this one, okay? You can now use the OneDrive. You can also get the Outlook mobile app and all of these, right? So after that, I want you to go to the upper left corner where you can see this uh, app launcher. Click on it and click on OneDrive. Now, once you have opened the OneDrive, you see you have the uh, store files such as photos, documents, videos, and more in the cloud in the left side panel of your dashboard where you can access them anytime, anywhere from any device with an internet connection. You can work smoothly with Microsoft Office applications like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Automatically saves and syncs changes to files in real time. Obviously, you can share files or folders with other via links, collaborate in real time using the Microsoft 365 with updates visible to all contributors, right? Automatically sync files across devices. You have the people, meetings, media, and a lot more here in the left side panel of your dashboard. So basically, you use or choose OneDrive if you are in the Microsoft ecosystem or you need a cost-effective solution and prioritize office integration because it's all in one place, all right? You have a storage space, you have tools and applications and whatnot. This is very useful for big organization. So it's a one seamless environment where they can share and collaborate effectively with all of these, all right? Now, um, the thing is it offers integration within the microsoft ecosystem if you guys are using microsoft a lot or with um more on the office apps you know because of the cross platform is really advisable only for windows all right but on the other hand you choose dropbox if you value user friendly sharing third party integrations and cross platform performance because in terms of these free storage dropbox has less all right, but it, it has like less competitive. It all have the third party apps, which is also great for sharing. Cross platform is very excellent and the security is very good. All right, now Dropbox is also available in free and paid plans with the latter offering more storage space and advanced features such as offline access, larger file uploads and collaboration tools for teams. But in terms of the search functionality, it's less powerful search compared to OneDrive and it's not as robust for businesses as the OneDrive. Again, the limited free plan only offers 2 gigabyte of free search which might, you know, make a break kind of a thing for you. And it does not integrate well as deeply with Microsoft Office as OneDrive, alright? But it's um, kind of like a cheaper option for you than the uh, OneDrive. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.